The workshop is designed uh, to invite uh, participants from SMEs to come in and learn about uh, the, the solar drying process. Uh, we've been working on solar drying for uh, over 10 years now. It's been my privilege to be here as a, a visiting professor at the University of Mauritius under the U.S. Fulbright program to continue research in the solar dehydration of fruits and vegetables and meats and other food products as a means of preserving those products for later use or for other market opportunities uh, here in Mauritius or for export as well. Um, as the attendees uh, were here, we worked on, we constructed this solar dryer, uh, showed them the basics of, of constructing that, the materials necessary, and the basic operation of the dryer itself and how that worked. discourage galvanized because you put galvanized and then you put tomato or mango or something acidic on there it's the, the galvanized the zinc and the other metals are going to leach into your food going to do is we're going to lay that on the wires now. So it's, it's like an accordion. Okay, so this one goes, yeah, let's lay this first one over. Painted black, the metallic aspect of the aluminum, it, it, it holds the heat and then it gives it off. Okay, and we want it to give it off, but the black will absorb. absorb. La haut ne l'en est pas nous photovoltaïque, déconnecté avec euh, nous contrôleur, contrôleur déconnecté avec nos batteries et puis euh, nous avons un ventilateur qui est connecté à travers un switch et le voltage du disconnect avec nos contrôleurs. Qui arrive Si jamais. Nous, quand nous avons un soleil, la radiation soleil est absorbée par nos, photo, par nos photovoltaïques et qu'on met en termes d'électricité. Et parce que nos contrôleurs contrôlent le changement de batterie. Il y a là, nos batteries les fournissent l'énergie dans nos fonds. Le ventilateur, il allume une pousse l'air et fait l'air circuler dans nos, dans nos chambres ici. Il tire l'humidité et il tire les pans de la cheminée. C'est-à-dire, quand l'humidité diminue, l'efficacité du système augmente.
quand on a fait évaporer, man solu, ça veut dire disque, man distel, man des autres, tu vois dans un produit là, il commence pour même les y a là, de concentration augmentée et quand les fruits ou les légumes secs, il y a un changement in the flavor and aroma. Ce qui est arrivé dans sa produit qui peut faire cette là, qui cause sa loss in texture là, on va le faire ici et un tamal uh, here's some apples, dried apples, the, the fruits, you can take that and eat it like candy. Um, you know, that's more dry. There's some carrots, there's some seaweed that's fallen through. Very happy that uh, you have uh, attended this course and we hope that uh, you are taking something back with you. This is the most important part of it. I don't, uh, I don't uh, believe that all of you are going to construct a trainer and so on, but at least you have been exposed to it. Even if one, two, three really can use this and do something out of it, we'd be very happy. We think that it has value well. But this is a potential that I think all of you must think about it. We were able to get a good group. I think we got the best group. Yeah. Uh, very good. And uh, you, you've asked good questions. You have an interest that I think will take you a, a long way. Um, and as, as Diane mentioned, if you take the information, even, even a portion of it, uh, we will have succeeded.
I think it went well. They, they seemed very pleased. They were enthusiastic. They asked great questions. Uh, they showed a, a, a great interest in further utilization of, of this solar dehydrator. Because of the opportunity to use solar energy and produce a product with very little, if any, uh, outside energy source other than the sun itself. From talking with uh, many of the participants, they were excited, they were enthused about uh, opportunities for their products in the market. Uh, some of them were in uh, pickle, uh, that they would dehydrate uh, various fruits and vegetables and then produce them, uh, further process them into a pickle type product.